Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome to the M3D booth here at World Maker Fair 2016. I ran into Ricky here, who looks like he has uh, M3D Inception going on here. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. So this is the M3D Pro, and yep. inside is the M3D Micro. Yes, yes, that's great. right. So originally we started with the Micro 3D printer uh, back in 2014 with our first Kickstarter. Um, earlier this past month, uh, we released a second Kickstarter for the Pro. Um, so the comparison between the Micro and the Pro is um, now the Pro will have a heated bed surface um, and it'll have uh, a glass bed as well. Um, this is one of the initial prototypes so we don't have that available for demonstration. Yep. It's on the other one. But um, the other thing we have is encoder tr uh, position tracking on all axes. Um, so if ever it detects a skip it can recover that position and continue the print like uh, nothing ever happened. So you don't get any staggered 3D prints, right? And yeah. You lose a, a large amount of filament and you lose a large amount of time. Um, the other thing we have is uh, anodized aluminum gantry system. So you can see that here instead of a carbon rod gantry system. Um, and then also we've improved um, the extruder internal uh, enclosure there with a better thermal system, including a thermistor. Um, and then we've also uh, beefed up the motors quite a bit. Nice. So, but they still have the same low noise uh, right. singing and low noise fan. So originally the micro 3D printer was going at 30 millimeters per second. Mm -hmm. The Pro is initially with our prototyping, we've done 50 millimeters per second. Um, our desired speed is about 120 millimeters per second. So the software will stay the same for both the Micro and the Pro, okay. um, but we are planning to uh, end testing to open up the Kira Slicer settings that we have in the back end. Okay. Um, you'll actually be able to load multiple models in the software uh, at one, so you can print at one time, and then um, you'll be able to pan the printer inside the software so you can see uh, not only the, the left and right, front and back, but you can see the top view. We've implemented also an SD card um, okay. to store prints. Yeah. So you don't always have to be tethered now to the right. USB cable. Great. Um, and we've increased the wattage, so we're up to 45 watts now instead of 20. Yep, heated bed. Um, heated bed will be included on this uh, as well as with the glass uh, surface. Got it. Is yeah. it removable? It is still removable. There is still a storage space underneath the bed. Right. Um, yeah, and really we've increased the size of the spool. Uh, um, okay, cool. So you've yeah. got bigger spools. Yep. Uh, yeah, so if anybody wants to know more about it, where, where can they go? Uh, they can go to printm3d.com and okay. uh, just contact us uh, right. for any questions. All right. I'm Noe and this is Ricky from yeah. M3D. Form Labs slash pin shape booth here. We've got uh, R2D2 here, which Adrian made. Uh, most of the